Hello, my name is Linda Mordoski with Customer Advanced Engineering. This is Module 1 of a five-set series, Configuring UCCE for Cisco Interaction Manager. This is our configuration checklist we will be using when we configure ICM. We will also follow this order to complete our configuration. This module will concentrate on configuring the network VRU as well as the agent and media routing PG. The SIM integration leverages the queuing logic that has already been developed for the network VRU. So even though there is no physical VRU in this environment, it is still necessary to configure a network VRU. The network VRU type for this integration is a type 2. Please note that if the network VRU has not been configured properly, activities will be routed to the exception queue. Agent Peripheral Gateway. In this section, I am only going to highlight the configuration points specific to this integration. The SIM listener service is receiving agent events from the CTI server. When an agent is connected through a CTI server, Rather than a peripheral, you need to configure the CTI address on the PG. From the Agent PG logical controller configuration, provide the primary address and port of the CTI server. If the PG is redundant, then configure the secondary CTI address and port. Important note, the SIM listener service will not go active without these values. Now we will take a look at specific configuration for the media routing PG. First, the media routing PG needs to be configured using the configuration manager. After saving the configuration, the system will auto-generate a logical controller ID and a peripheral ID. Note, you will need these values when you actually install the MRPG. Client type is an MRPG. Also, don't forget to enable post routing on the peripheral tab. Navigate to the Routing Client tab. And now we'll need to configure a unique routing client name for this PG. Leave the default media routing domain and the default call type as none. Fill in the client type as MRPG. Now select the Advanced tab from the Media Routing PG configuration. Select the network VRU that we configured earlier for this media routing PG. The agent auto configuration box should be left unchecked. Remember, agents are not configured on an MRPG. The integration will support both agent targeting mode or device target mode. By default, the MRPG will use the mode that is configured on the agent PG associated with this integration. Once you finish the configuration in Configuration Manager, then you move over to do the installation of the PG. Once again, I'm only going to highlight the items that are specific to this type of integration. Your typical configuration items in your PG, like say for example your Node Manager properties or your PG Node properties, I'm not going to review. So I'm only highlighting those items that are very specific to this particular type of implementation. For the client type selection, select Media Routing. Now we'll take a look at the Peripheral Gateway Configuration. Now under the Peripheral Gateway Configuration, enter the value for the Logical Controller ID. This was a system-generated controller ID when you configured the MRPG. Underneath the Peripheral Interface Managers, select Add, and then go down to the bottom and select Next so we can configure the PIM. Make sure you enable the PIM, provide a unique peripheral name, and the peripheral ID. Again, this is the system-generated peripheral ID when you configured the MRPG in the Configuration Manager. For the application host name, Provide the name of the server where the services process is active. The default application connection port is 38001. After filling in this value, go ahead and click OK. That will complete the PIM configuration. And then 
continue through the installation as you would any other PG. At this time in your configuration, you should have your network VRU configured, your agent PG should be configured, and your media routing PG. In Module 3, we'll take a look at the application instance, media class, media routing domain, and application path. Thank you.